Hey everyone, this is Kevin Lee. I'm a physical therapist here at Apex PWR. I'm also an endurance coach. I coach triathletes from beginner to pro. We're gonna to talk today about the VO2 max test report breakdown. This is a sheet you will get after your VO2 max test. And it goes over all the values and metrics we gathered from your test. This is a brief overview of what is a complex topic in human physiology. So keep that in mind. At the top left, we have your aerobic threshold. This is an easy effort. If you've heard of zone two, which is very popular these days, zone two is at your aerobic threshold or below. Here, energy production shifts from greater fat oxidation toward greater carbohydrate oxidation. Uh, blood lactate starts rising. Because this is a low intensity, you can accumulate a lot of volume below your aerobic threshold. The majority of your cardiovascular training should be at this intensity or below if you're doing a lot of cardio. If you look at the bottom left, we have the anaerobic threshold, otherwise commonly known as the lactate threshold. Here, your body shifts from greater aerobic energy production to greater anaerobic energy production. You burn a lot more carbohydrate and you start to produce a lot of metabolic byproducts that cause more fatigue. So if you're exercising hard above this intensity, you will start to get exponentially increasing fatigue as well. Top right, this is your VO2 max uh, or VO2 peak. We won't get into that technicality here though. Your VO2 max is the maximum amount of oxygen your body can use. In trained individuals, this is limited by how much blood your heart can pump. Bottom left, this is max heart rate. This is the heart rate that you are at when you reach your VO2 max. 220 minus age is not an accurate way to estimate your max heart rate. The best way is to do a maximal test like a VO2 max test. If you look in the middle chart, you can also see corresponding heart rate values and calories per hour. Here we have a age comparison chart. This is relative to population and age norms. Uh, you can see how you stack up against the general population, but keep in mind, this is your journey. You will start wherever you are and you can improve it. So try not to compare yourself too much. This chart goes over the recovery heart rate or what your heart rate falls to after a certain amount of time. Generally speaking, the more quickly your heart rate declines after an intense effort, the more aerobically fit you are. For all intensive purposes in your everyday fitness, I wouldn't pay too much attention to this. Um, if you do want to base intervals off of your heart rate recovery, you can use these values because you will know how much your heart rate declines after a certain amount of time. So if you go really hard and then you rest for two minutes, you'll know you have fallen to a heart rate of 134 as shown in this chart. But personally, I wouldn't pay too much attention to this chart. Here, the sheet is showing you various training zones, low, moderate, high, and peak. Low refers to your aerobic threshold and below. Moderate is in between your aerobic threshold and anaerobic threshold. High is right around your anaerobic threshold. And peak would be at an intensity where you're trying to hit VO2 max. If you're doing cardio multiple times a week, the vast majority of your training should be at a low intensity below your aerobic threshold to promote sustainability and reduce risk of injury and overtraining. You can do a lot of training at this intensity and create a large base, a foundation for your higher intensity training. If you do a large amount of training below your aerobic threshold, you will see improvements in your fitness over time and you will see long-term improvements in your VO2 max. At the anaerobic threshold, training here will increase your anaerobic threshold. And this is beneficial for sustaining higher paces for longer. And if you train in the peak zone where you really are going hard, you're trying to hit VO2 max, this is how you improve your VO2 max if you are a trained athlete. This involves going very, very hard for intervals up to roughly five minutes in length. And you're trying to hit 90% or higher of your max heart rate for a sustained period of time. This intensity is very hard. Think about all out for three to five minutes repeated a few times. 
This chart shows you how many calories you burn at various intensities. It's calculated using how much oxygen and carbon dioxide is going through the machine when you're doing your test. So it's pretty accurate relative to your fitness devices, which are not very accurate in your caloric consumption because that is estimated based on heart rate or pace. Um, but this is using your oxygen consumption. Your heart rate may vary day to day, so that can cause some variation in these values. But overall, this is a good estimate of your caloric expenditure at various heart rates. Final notes. Focus on what you can control. For beginner athletes, focus on low intensity training. You will see improvements in VO2 max with consistent training. Don't obsess over the number. If you are getting fitter and faster, you can be assured that your VO2 max is likely going up as well. The most important thing is you don't get injured because nobody wins it. For trained athletes, you will need to train at very high intensities or very large volumes of low intensity to see continual improvements in your VO2 max test. VO2 max is only one element of fitness and it also has a genetic ceiling. So if you're training for year after year, uh, training at high intensities, doing lots of intervals, you will eventually hit a ceiling. If you do hit a plateau though, that doesn't mean your performance can't stop improving. You can still improve your aerobic threshold your anaerobic threshold, you can improve your movement efficiency, and you will still have better performances even if your VO2 max does not go up. It is only one element of your fitness. Again, this was a quick summary of VO2 max. Um, there's a lot more to learn in endurance sport other than VO2 max, such as lactate, um, how to train. Uh, there's also a lot of different kinds of training to do to improve your fitness. If you're interested in scheduling physical therapy, performance training, or lactate testing, or you can join our new run club, feel free to call at this number. We accept all major insurances. Uh, looking forward to working with you.